Okay, so I want to evaluate for my six trig functions with t is negative pi over two. All right. So I got me creepy. Yes. Um, Are you videoing this? To do this, what we need to do is we need to figure out where is our point t. All right, and it says the point t is at t is negative pi over two. Remember our unit circle. Matt, please put your head up. I know it's early. All right. Remember our unit circle crosses at one comma zero. 0 comma 1 and 0 comma negative 1, right? And we know that the radius of our unit circle is 1. So we said radians is the distance, of, is taking your radius around your circle. And then we said that 1 radian, 2 radian, 3 radians. And then all the way to here is 3.14159 dot 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 radians, or what we call pi radians, right? So I told you to find your points on your unit circle. The best and easiest way to do this is to take whatever your denominator is and section that many section that many um, units off of what half of your circle. So if this is pi, get rid of this point. We can say this is two pi over two because I'm not. I'm just rewriting it in terms of what your denominator is two. So therefore, this point has to be pi over two, right? Now, however, I notice that we're actually going in the negative direction. So we're actually going to be going this way which is negative. So what we'll have is this is going to be negative pi over two, and this will be a negative, this will be, I'm not gonna write three. This will be three pi over two, and then here will be four pi over two, or two pi. Yeah, I'm not gonna write negative, but you see it is gonna be a negative, because um, the value is not negative, but the direction is gonna make it negative, right? Okay. So negative, two, <clears throat> negative pi over 2 is going to be going in this direction. It's going to take us to this point, right? So our point here, which I already previously wrote up, was at 0 comma negative 1. All right, so then it asks us to find the six trig values. So we have sine of t, cosine of t, and tangent of t. Then we have cosecant of t, secant of t, and cotangent of t. Um, so remember, each of our coordinate has an x and a y coordinate. So remember, sine of t, when you're evaluating for sine, that's finding the y value of your point. So what is the y value for my point when t equals a negative pi over 2? The y value is negative 1. Cosine is what it values for x. This is your x value. Tangent is going to be the ratio of y divided by x. So if I look at that, that's 1 or negative 1 divided by 0. But can you have um, 0 on the bottom? No. No. So therefore, this is going to be undefined. Cosecant is going to be the reciprocal. Um, it's going to be 1 over... 1 over uh, this, which still is going to be negative 4. Secant is going to be reciprocal of this. So instead of being 0, um, it's going to be uh, 1, <coughs> over zero. 1 over 0, which is going to be undefined. And then cotangent is going to be the reciprocal of this, which will be x over y. So 0 divided by negative 1, which is 0. zero. Okay, that's how you value six trig functions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cody, get away! Get away!